Abu Yusuf from Saudi, I apologize for keeping you waiting. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes. Barakallah feek. Sheikh, I would like to ask you regarding the joint family systems system in the in the Muslim world, especially in the subcontinent. Five brothers, six sisters, and so many people are living in one building, one house. You know, uh, then you know, their grown-up children coming meet, between mixing and all these things. Sometimes the mother, mother-in-laws of the boy, uh, girls uh, are controlling her. Uh, father-in-law have some rulings on their sons, this thing, that thing. So many things are there. So what is the exact Islamic ruling? Does this happen and during the Rasulullah period that everybody lives in one house, uh, under one roof, so many people? Okay. Just the question I want to ask. Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Abu Yusuf. Thank you. Barakallah feek. Our biggest problem in the Muslim world, or at least one of the biggest problem, is when we allow tradition and customs to overrule Islam. This does not work. When you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, I bear witness there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah Azza wa Jal, this means that you enslave yourself totally to Allah the Almighty and abandon anything else. So whatever Allah says, whatever our Prophet وسلم, teaches, we embrace unconditionally, without any questions asked. The problem of the Muslim world is that they allow their customs and traditions to overrule. And this is totally against Islam. Let us look at the joint family system in the subcontinent and in some other countries as well. The father and the mother do their level best to upbring their children. And once the boy is a man and is looking forward to getting married, they look for a suitable spouse for him that would come and live with them. And in most of these joint family houses, you will find that the mother of the boy looks for a suitable maid that suits her, regardless of what her son wants or desires. She doesn't care. All what she cares about is that this woman who is coming to live as a wife of my son would serve me, serve my husband, and serve my daughters as well. And I have hundreds of complaints from such women who got married and are being abused by their mother-in-laws, by their sister-in-laws, and are not living an Islamic life. They have their brother-in-laws who are themselves married and have children, and their children are adults. And they live in a four or five rooms house. So how is she supposed to go to the kitchen if every five minutes someone enters it and sees her without the hijab. And it is not possible to be in hijab 24-7, not being able to sit in your own room without someone barging in by mistake or intentionally without any privacy for you or for your husband together. And when she speaks to the man, to the husband, he says, what can I do? If I leave, my father and mother will curse me and they will shun me. They will not talk to me. This is totally absurd and wrong. If your father and mother shun you or curse you, Allah will not listen to them because they are transgressors. They are committing zulm. It is your wife's right to have a separate house of her own, at least one room with a kitchenette and a bathroom that no one else can come in without her permission or knowledge. I hear stories from evil mother-in-laws that would come into the room of the, the, the wife and search around evil sister in law who comes 
and takes jewelries of her sister-in-law without her permission, takes dresses, wears them, whenever she wants. And she is not allowed to keep her door locked. This is totally haram. So what to do? A man has to become a man. Once you get married, you have to take care of your wife. Your father gets angry, your mother gets angry. I didn't do anything to make them angry. They are angry because they don't fear Allah Azza wa Jal. They want someone to serve them in the house. And this is not my wife's obligation. I married a free woman and she will remain to be free and not a servant or a slave to them. So this system is totally wrong. Now, when it comes to free mixing, I don't believe that there is a man who allows his wife to be seen unproperly, unproperly dressed by his brothers and by his nephews as if she is something displayed in the red district of Amsterdam, for example. No, this is totally prohibited. You have to have jealousy. You have to be a man and not to allow such things to happen to your wife and Allah Azza wa knows best.